assembly always seems to be the problem in everybody's world. So that's what this segment of the, of the film is all about, putting it together. All right? Because you've really only got four pieces to put together, maybe five. First thing you do is you open the box, obviously, and then you uh, look in your instructions and you check to make sure all the parts that are listed on your instruction are, are, in, the, um, are in the box itself. There'll be uh, uh, a box for the tripod, a box for the OTA, which is the actual telescope. That means optical uh, tube assembly. And then you have a box for your accessories and, and so on and so forth. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to the telescope box, I mean the tripod box, and take out the tripod. And this is what you're going to see. Okay, years ago, years ago, we pioneered the pre-assembled tripod. Uh, before we did that, you'd have to put this whole thing together. Well, this is how it comes to you. All you have to do is simply loosen. Oh, before I show you that, I want to show you those um, retractable rubber feet I was telling you about. Uh, take it to the left, it goes out. Take it to the right, it goes in. And you see where the little neural uh, knob there is, the anchor is, is exposed. But for these pur purposes, we're going to put it all the way to the left and use the rubber feet. All right. First thing you want to do, loosen this and simply extend the legs. All right. I think we can all do that. Um, I'm not the sharpest tack in the box and it's not real hard for me to do that. Okay. So, and I bet you if you time yourself, your first time setting this up, you'll do it under maybe under three minutes. All right. There, your telescope's all set up. Your tripod's all set up, all right? Next thing you want to do is you want to take your accessory tray. Now look, on the accessory tray, you're going to see these little hooks, all right? Simply take the hook and just latch the hook across the bolt, uh, the nut and bolt combination there. You're going to have to adjust your tripod accordingly. Obviously, you want it to fit in there. It's not that difficult. So you get, your, you get one done. Come over here, you move it into place, you got two done. Then you come over here, you move that into place, and you have three done. Your accessory tray's on. Now, what, now I want you, what I want you to do is tighten it. Because the tighter and more secure, don't over tighten it ever, but the more secure the accessory tray is, the more stability your tripod's gonna have. Okay? So, we've set up the tripod, we put on the accessory tray, maybe that took us a minute and a half. Next thing I want you to do is take your telescope out of the OTA box. It's going to come out to you like this, okay? You'll see it's already mounted on the yoke. You've got your telescope here. You're going to have a connecting knob right here. So you take that connecting knob off. Make sure that this little uh, nylon washer is there. You just take it, you set it down on top of the telescope. You put your connecting knob back on, and that's it. Now look at that. How easy is it to set up this telescope? The next thing I want you to do in your accessory box is I want you to pull out the Mars Eye Finder Scope. Now on top, you'll see a base. You simply take your Mars Eye, the big fat end points to the end of the telescope, all right? Because you want to look through that side. And you just take it and just slide it on the base Like that, tighten down the two sets, uh, the set knobs, make this sure they're snug too. Now on this, you're going to see a um, knob under here and an adjustment knob here. This one makes the red dot go up and down right here. This one makes it go left and right. But here again, on our website, cosmooptics.com, you will see an instructional video that shows you how to align the Mars eye to the main tube. Okay, now from that point, you have your focuser. You'll see the focuser is capped. Simply take that cap off. You get into your um, accessories. You want to take out, like I said, I want you to take out the 20 first, 20 millimeter first. Just pop it in your focuser like that. Set it in and set it. Okay, now, if you wanted to, and let's say this would align, this telescope's ready for you to use. But we haven't put in the batteries for the, for the electronic focuser. So what you have here is you have a little door right here, 
And that you take that door off, you simply pop it down, take it off. We give you the batteries to put in here. This will take three AAA batteries. They'll be, you know, they'll be uh, in your accessory uh, package as well. Okay. Then you will also, in your accessories, have your remote control. You have to take and you have to put your batteries in your remote control too. They just fit in right back here. Uh, we all have TVs and the like, so I don't think putting batteries in the remote control is going to be a, a threat to anybody. But so now, once you get your batteries in both the focuser and the controller, there's five AAA batteries included. If you want to use that electronic focuser, like I say, what you want to do is you want to tighten the clutch down, make sure it's snug. Now, don't over tighten it, and then you'll be ready to go with your um, electronic focuser. Now, when you turn the um, focuser on, you'll see a little green light that'll flash when it goes on. Okay, it's not going to flash always, but it's going to flash when it comes on. Okay, then you know it's on, and at that point in time, you're ready to do your to to uh, use your focuser. Okay. Um, other than that, that's we have the whole thing all set up. Last thing, you can't use your telescope if you don't take off the sunshade. This is kind of like being at a wedding, you know, when people used to take. I know a, a person that actually had their entire wedding uh, filmed, but the guy didn't take the lens cap off his camera, so what did he get? He got nothing. If you don't take this off this side, light can't get in. It isn't going to hit the mirror. It's not going to be reflected up out of the focuser. Now, also, to that point, I want to show you the back of the telescope. Back here, there's also going to be a cap on here. Leave that cap on. Okay, your telescope is all set up at the factory. It's all pre-aligned. If for any reason you should ever want to, what we say, collimate, we have instructions on how to do that too on our website, but that's the only time you would take this cap off exposing these adjustment knobs. And while I'm on that point, one other thing that you might wonder is when you look down into that telescope, you're going to see a little black dot on that mirror. That's a collimation dot. Now, as far as, I'm as far as I know, we're the only people that do that in all of our brands, in Galileo, Copernicus, and Cassini, of course. So the, what that's in there for is when you take your eyepiece out and you look in from a distance, like here, that little black dot should be right in the middle of the crosshairs that you see in there. I know you don't know what I'm talking about now, but I'll bet you once you see this video and you take this eyepiece out and you say, hey, yeah, I see the black dot. As long as that black dot is in the middle of the little circle in there, then your telescope is in alignment. If it's ever out of the middle, that's when you use these adjusting screws back here to bring it back in. But that, that usually doesn't uh, happen. You usually don't need to do that. So that's the assembly process of your Cassini C80 EFS telescope. Um, boy, I really hope that you enjoy it. Uh, if you have questions, please... Uh, Access our website and send send the you know send me an email send me the questions and I will respond to them you myself because there's no reason that the first time user can't use this telescope it's without question the best value the electronic focuser the Mars Eye the planetarium the easy setup and the diffraction limited optics that we provide with this telescope so makes it the perfect first telescope for you or anybody that you know is interested in seeing the moons of Jupiter and the rings of Saturn and things such as that. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that you'll enjoy your Cassini telescope. And if you don't, I want to know about it. And if you do, hey, I wouldn't mind hearing about that as well. Thanks again.